emails are terrible tasks. Yes. Why work with that? Because they just keep popping up. They keep popping up. Okay, they keep going. You've got like zero control, sort of, okay? Mm -hmm. That's... Like run one after the other. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Endless action items. And But also sometimes an email is really three action items. Yeah. Yes. Or something you have to check in with somebody else and wait for. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's still there. But then they've got this lovely feature in, in Outlook. It's like there all the time. You can star. Yes. And like it's so flag. satisfying. You go, yeah. I'm going to flag this. Flag mm -hmm. it, flag it, flag it. Yeah, but then right. it's like buried under like everything. 500 other emails. No, no, it's, it's the death star on Google. It's a star. And you're like, it's like the death. I don't know. Is there a death flag? What would be the death flag? The death flag. So. A red flag. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's really bad, right? And for that reason, because like the challenge is like they're often you're waiting for something. It's, compli it's complex. There's three of them. You've got one of them done, but you can't take it off the list. And they live for friggin' ever. <laughs> and in this environment, people expect instant gratification. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know. Are you, are you time blocking? Yeah. You are. Okay, great. We're going to have to share some of your insights. We're going to talk about how it's different. You've heard about it, but not, not used it yet. I'm really struggling getting the flexibility. I put do not schedule to block time to yeah. think deep, but it's, you know, there's several days a week that it's just all day. <laughs> yeah. It's, and yeah. so. Setting those parameters is something I have to work on. Okay, but just block out, like, so sit down when you get back, think mm -hmm. about your priority one stuff, and then just make blocks for it there. We'll talk a little bit about how solid goals will help you as well. And then this is just how I wanted to wrap it up, which is that the reality is like, you guys are an amazing team. You're here on this day. You are really, you you depend on each other, right? You all have these amazing strengths, some mm -hmm. which you've learned about, and you have these real challenges. There's not enough of you. There are people out, you've lost a ton of knowledge, but like this idea of, can we spend a little time now? We've got five minutes and then we'll wrap up. Um, just just thinking a little bit about it, based on what you've thought is most helpful, are there team norms that we can help you think about that will help you guys be best positioned to succeed? And this is the stuff that I've worked with most other people to do, which is being thoughtful about meetings. And so mm -hmm. helping them say like, we, other people might do it, but we tend not to schedule meetings before 10 a.m. because we know that's the best time for deep work. We tend not to schedule meetings off at four because that's the time for a flex work and shutdown time. And then we are, we are very explicit about our expected response time so people know what to do. They don't expect the default tools.